thank you to the Connecticut Dreamers. You brought us here. You brought us this far. We're going to continue ahead. I'm very proud of our co-chairs, Representative Haddad and Senator Bai, for their courage to take these issues forward. If any of us woke up one day and were to find that when we were two or three years old, we had been brought to this country and we didn't have proper documentation, how would any one of us feel? If we have grown up as a Connecticut resident, we consider ourselves part of this great state, we want to move forward with our education, we should be afforded that opportunity. These kids pay into the fund, they should have access to that fund. I'm proud of the working people of the state of Connecticut and their unions that have come here today, like United and all the other unions that have been here, but I'm especially proud of my colleagues in the American Federation of Teachers for being here today. Yeah. And for all the faculty and the AAUP and the four C's and people that teach our college kids, they're here backing their students. So I really feel proud of Connecticut. We've been a shining example of a welcoming state to our immigrant community. We passed the driver's license for undocumented. We're fighting forward. We have three cities that have become sanctuary cities, Willimantic, New Haven, Hartford. I have similar legislation to have our entire state respect people regardless of status. So we're moving forward. I came to this building proudly representing the city of Hartford, our great capital city, a very diverse community. I'd just like to address one last, one last issue that comes up regularly when I'm speaking to people, and that's the big elephant in the room. The White House and the change in leadership and the change in tone and tenor. Well, I have to say that regardless of my disagreements with my Republican colleagues, Republicans in Connecticut have never been victims of this Tea Party ex extreme politics. We have always operated in a, in a bipartisan way. Yes. And I hope that continues. Secondly, it's always been Republican orthodoxy to respect state rights and what happens within the states. Yes. Let's hope they're true to their words. Thank you. Yes. Thank you.